Deborah, with her 30 years of being an entrepreneur and creating over seven companies, knows exactly what it means to accept the mission. When you make that decision, when you accept the mission to become a solopreneur, to take yourself and your talents to market, then you embrace a life of not only unlimited possibilities, but also the unknown. It's an elixir of fear and bravery that only someone who's taken the leap really understands. On our show, Deb digs deep with her guests to highlight what you, the listener, wants to know. The stories, the whys, and the hows to navigate the journey to success. Get ready to hear from some of the most incredible mission takers from Generation Z to Boomers. So sit up, perk up, and get ready to be blown away. Now here is your host, Deborah Drummond. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Mission Accepted. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the compliments, all the... I got to tell you, Susan, letting me know that you you listen to Mission Accepted podcast while you're doing your yoga. I'm so happy. Those things make me smile because look, at this is what we do this for. We do this to get the word out. And it's called Mission Accepted for a reason. I mean, we are only really on the other side of the screen having people that are that have taken on the mission. Sometimes they take on really big missions. Sometimes it's learning how to say no with boundaries. But we've got entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs and creatives and people in media making leaps and bounds in what it is that they do. And that's the one thing that I love about our guest is that his work is very leap and bound based. This is really, I'm not going to say it's something that you've never heard about because then I would have to say you've never heard about energy. And I think we all get to a place in our life, probably mid 20s, late 20s, where we understand people's energy. I love their vibe. This feels good to me. This doesn't feel good to me. It's an energetic match. Woo. Even when we're talking everything about dating to working to health. And so Tom is back with us. If you are starting to watch and see where his work is going, you're starting to layer the understanding of what might sound like a new concept, but really, truly it's, how do I put it? It's a new concept based on actuals and real principles. And so we're super excited to have him come back. We were talking about the Tanzania project before. He's going to dig a little deeper into that, highlight you guys what it is that we're talking about, because Tom's all about scalar energy. And so not only are you guys the best podcast, I think today you guys are the most adventurous. So just sit back, take a listen, and actually take some action. That's what I mean about adventurous. You guys are going to take some activity, and, and Tom's got a nice opportunity for you to experience scalar energy as a gift. So Tom, thank you so much for coming back and making time for us today. A pleasure to be here. Thanks, Deb. You bet. So share, uh, share with us. There's people that haven't heard of scalar energy. I know you've got some great visuals for us. And for those of you that are driving, keep driving. For those of you that are doing <laughs> yoga, that's okay. This is worth stopping yoga for. Do a little, do a little bit child's pose and, and put your phone right there so you can watch uh, some of the things that Tom's going to show us today, because this is there's some great visuals today, you guys. Thank, thanks so much. Well, we're going to speak about quantum healing or, or uh, scalar light healing. What do I mean by that? We are working with a dimension of energy, scalar light, that's not electricity. We, we don't work with the electromagnetic spectrum. We work with the quantum spectrum. There is indeed a, a spectrum of consciousness or quantum energy. I have instruments that can control that spectrum of energy, quantum energy or scalar light energy. I've made this my life. Uh, I've, I've developed these instruments. I've perfected the approach using these instruments. So this is a technological uh, uh, conversation, but nonetheless, we're going to show how this helps people. Yes, we're gonna speak about scalar technology, but in the long run, what does that technology do? It improves the human condition. So let me first demonstrate one of the instruments that I'm working with. This is a scalar energy instrument that I'm going to show. That's one of the custom built instruments that I work with. Now that instrument allows me to access a scalar energy dimension or consciousness, if you will. Some people call that zero point energy or life force energy. That's not an electrical instrument. I'm not working with electricity. That's a scalar energy instrument. And the way I work with people with these instruments is through their photograph, because the photograph has quantum energy or scalar light energy attached to it. 
So this is not an in-person session. I don't work one-on-one -on -one with people. I work with people through this quantum field, scalar energy. And in so doing, I would take a person's photograph, people would email me a photograph, and then in so doing, I would actually place their photograph inside a scalar energy instrument. Now, I'm demonstrating the instrument in operation. You see my photograph at the top. Side by side, there's a photograph of the herpes virus. Now, let me explain what I'm doing. Working in the quantum field, I can bilocate. So I'm not in the instrument, my photograph is. My photograph represents my bilocated version. And when I place inside that scalar energy instrument a photograph, a magnified photograph of a microbe, in this case, the herpes virus, the two energy fields communicate. In other words, my quantum field, that's my photograph, is communicating with herpes and vice versa. The herpes virus is communicating with my person, with my quantum person, my energetic person, my force field. And in so doing, when I place a photograph of a microbe side by side, my photograph in the quantum field, the herpes virus, if it's present in my body, will break apart. That arrangement of placing a photograph of a microbe side by side, my photograph, allows the instrument to identify herpes in my quantum field, in my information field, seek out the herpes virus and destroy it. This is a very straightforward process. And it works on account of the fact I'm working with light. There's no human reasoning here. So that's a scalar energy instrument in the background. My photograph is front and center, side by side to the right is a photograph of the herpes virus. This arrangement allows a scalar energy instrument to send the energy, to send the signature of herpes into my quantum field. And so doing, that instrument will look for the presence of herpes in my body and break down the molecular bonds of the herpes virus. That's, that's amazing. I mean, that, 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 that's just, that's phenomenal. Like that's it, phenomenal. It it is phenomenal. And why is this phenomenal? We're working with light. There's no human reasoning here. So when I can work with light, light never makes a mistake. Light is fundamental. I'm following the fundamental laws of science. These are the laws of science that I follow. And on account of the fact that I follow the laws of science, my work is guaranteed, at least in the quantum field. So what I just demonstrated is the guaranteed method to find to identify the herpes virus in a person's quantum field, energy field, and break it down and fragment that virus. Now, in the long run, I still have to rely upon people, upon their feedback, their testimony, or their test results, because I don't work with people. I only work with their energy field. And hence, we have to construe, we have to theorize that a photograph is in some way connected to a person's energy field somehow. This is the new science that's never been proven, nor has it been disproven. So I am at the cutting edge of this new science. The instrument that I'm demonstrating is custom built. Nobody has built this similar type of instrument. Nobody has my track record. And they, they frankly, they cannot have my track record until they duplicate the instrument and duplicate my results. So for the sake of this conversation, this is groundbreaking research. No third party has ever stepped forward to try to duplicate my results. Okay, so what does this mean to mankind? Working through photographs, we're able to reach people around the world through the quantum field through their photographs. Now I'm gonna share with the audience a photograph from Tanzania. The woman in the background to the right sent us her photograph. And we work with this woman by way of a scalar energy instrument. I've never been to Tanzania. This woman from Tanzania did not visit us. This woman at one time was HIV positive. When we placed her photograph inside the scalar energy instrument, we were able to find, we were able to locate the HIV virus in her quantum field on the photograph. 
and we were able to eradicate the HIV virus through the photograph, through the photograph. Now, as a result, this woman sent us a testimony and she, she claimed that she no longer had any viral load. So consider what I'm saying. That woman at one time was HIV positive. She sent us, she emailed us her photograph from Tanzania. I placed her photograph inside the instrument. <clears throat> the instrument can detect the HIV virus in the photograph. And we can uh, uh, eliminate or efface or negate the signal for HIV found on the photograph. And what it has appeared to me that a photograph is the bilocated version of a person. So whatever action takes place on a photograph simultaneously takes action, I believe, on a person in their quantum field. Again, this energy is non-physical. So all of my action is in the information realm. And if my root work proves to be valid, then it's going to prove that there is an aura or a spirit, or there is some type of non-physical information field that people enjoy. That's my statement, that there is a non-physical aura spirit that people have, and I can access that non-physical aura spirit through a scalar energy instrument. Now, additionally, we, we tried to help out the people in Tanzania by donating goats. Those goats are part of the scalar light project, in which we would buy 10 or 20 goats at a time, and we would donate those goats to the villages. And I don't know anything about animal husbandry, but now I do. Goats multiply rapidly. And we started out with maybe two or 300 goats. And now, according to their reports, there's at least four to 5,000 goats in Tanzania. And we are now able to provide some type of, some type of economic backbone for these people. They can gain a livelihood with these goats. So you see how this, this emerging science scalar energy not only helps people with their health, but we're also able to contribute to the local economy, donate goats. And these people love the goats and the goats, they, they multiply quite, quite, quite quickly. So that in a nutshell is what we're doing in Tanzania. It's an ongoing program. The people continue to send in test results that they feel great, that they no longer have any HIV viral load, and the goats are on their own, and the goats are multiplying. I eventually will have 10,000 goats. <laughs> I did not know that about goats. I did not know that about goats. I've, you know, I've been that person that's purchased, you know, someone, a, a pig or a goat or a rooster or whatever, a package of pencils or whatever for Christmas forever. And, um, but now, now that I know that about goats, I mean, that's right. They multiply like rabbits, I guess is what yeah, we can they say. Do. They yeah. do, and they're easy to take <laughs> care of. And it, it makes so much sense. You don't need a gigantic pen for them. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. Rabbits, they're docile for the most part. Oh, yeah. And they just they just multiply like, like gangbusters. And this is what the people need. They need sustenance. They need food. Yeah. So, you know, it's so easy to make an impact in this world. And what am I trying to encourage the audience? Whatever good deed you do, it goes a long way. It has a multiplier effect. And, and I can guarantee you our multiplier effect in Tanzania with all these goats is multiplying by the day. So anything you can do, you don't have to go to Tanzania, people. You, re, you well realize that. The good deeds that you do with your family and your friends, and with the, they go a long way. There's a multiplying effect. That's That's fantastic. But you know what? I love that. So first of all, I mean, it's such an alignment, right? It's an alignment. And when I think about the work that you do, and I mean, the last time that you were on, like the actual test that people were sending back that they were HIV, and then they weren't HIV, and they were HIV. And then you had this picture of all of these people that were HIV that were, that are no longer HIV. I mean, goats or no goats, that's, that's generational health. You know, we, we talk a lot about generational wealth and creating generational wealth and building wealth that passes on. But when you when you can eradicate, to use your word, um, conditions that have yet to be able to be, um, I don't know, I don't know, should, are we allowed to say the word cured anymore? I don't know, we even know what words we're allowed to say anymore. But um, 
that can have a result like that, that is really generational health. And it's very true. The healthier you are, the more able that you are to take care of your family, able to sustain and uh, provide for your family. But also when you're, when, you know, children are raised in an environment, a community is raised in your environment. I mean, my kids make jokes about how, you know, I used to go with all the neighbors in Halloween and give them these sugar-free candies to give my kids. And they felt ripped off until they, well, they felt great until they realized they were getting ripped off. But when you are healthy, when you are health-minded, then you are so much more available for your kin. Right. And, and, and um, it's miraculous. We know that. We see people with disease. We see people in diseased conditions. And then when we see them get better, just how happy that whole you know, even just that, that individual family rises up. Right. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. I, I want to inculcate this. This is so simple and easy. We work with photographs of people. I've never been to Tanzania. People yeah. email us photographs by working through this quantum field, this non-physical information, we can send energy to a person's spirit. This is not biological. It's a auric or etheric experience. We're working in the non-physical realm. And the long shot, the, 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 the upshot, I should say, is that people feel better. Now, I never leave my laboratory, but for some reason, people in Tanzania have sent us these testimonies out of Tanzania, and they claim that they no longer have a viral load. This report is on our website. I, I won't read the report. But right. people from Tanzania say they no longer are HIV positive. After being positive for years, 10, 15, 20 years, I'm going to read one quick testimony out of Tanzania. The gal's name is Kathleen Lazaro. She's 32 years old from Tanzania. She was first detected HIV positive in 2012. She sent in her photograph for the scale energy sessions. After treatment, she started feeling relief within two months and the opportunistic diseases stopped. She's no longer attending the clinic for HIV. She's no longer HIV positive. She also has remarked that the doctors are wondering what has happened. And this is Catherine's photograph. Again, wow. this report is available on our website. And in their words, people are saying that they feel better, that they feel that something significant has taken place. So it's a new science. It's never been proven by academia because academia does not have my instruments. I offer your audience to consider what we're saying. We always offer people 15 days of free sessions. I want to introduce this new technique, this new modality of working in the etheric plane or the spirit plane. It's not a biological process. And the results are from people. It's not my opinion. The results, the testimonies are from people. That's the key. My website has 4,000 testimonies from people around the world. So with 4,000 valid testimonies, testimonies that, that show the, if you will, the, the, the favorable outcome, I know we have something. I know this is something significant and that the world is going to eventually pay attention to quantum healing in the quantum realm through a photograph. Wow. Well, I hope that lands for people. Sometimes we have to hear things a couple of times and I know that you've been on our show and we've, we've sent your um, episodes out multiple times. And sometimes, I mean, when it comes to something like this, that is simple, sounds simple, but takes some, you know, neuronal rewiring to get there. You know, we've always heard it. Well, take, it's going to take, it took a little while to get my head around it, took my head around it because it's not that, it's not that same way thinking. It's not that same way thinking that uh, people take you up on that and have their own experience. I mean, there's nothing better than having your own experience. You go to the restaurant. It's like, yeah, you know what? That is the best lasagna I've ever had. Yeah, me too. So I, I mean, 4,000 testimonies is a lot of testimonies. <laughs> That's a lot of testimonies. <laughs> I I'm very aware of um, third-party testings. I mean, it's a part of my background, third-party testings. And I know that a lot of considerable health case studies are in the hundreds. 
Like they're in the hundreds. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. And and this is what I want people to explore. Now, again, you're not going to get validity from or, or, or any benchmark of support from academia or for any government, because my work is groundbreaking. I am at the mm -hmm. vanguard of this, this uh, new science. The instruments that I have are custom built. So you really have to rely upon the testimonies of people. You're not gonna find a third party that can vouch for me. Yeah. Well, and I think uh, first party is always the best way to go. So sending in their, yes. you know, like first party, like, you know, like I just said, you went and said the lasagna was amazing. I checked out. Yes, it is amazing. I think that um, your gift is considerable. I mean, talk about multiplying, you know, talk about the multiplication of health. If you, you know, yeah. help one person in their health. And you know what? Here's the interesting thing. I was just having a conversation uh, a couple of days ago with someone. We were talking about the the pet industry and how we watched that explode over the last 15 years. And the beautiful thing is this work that you're doing is for people to use preventatively. It is for pets, right? They can send pictures of their pets yes. in. I yes. mean, that's huge. There's a lot. I mean, first of all, pets can't talk. And there's right. a lot of a lot of times you're like, something's not right, but I don't know. And there's now there's yeah. now behavior therapists for pets. There's there's a whole spectrum of people that work I, there, one of, uh, I have a great woman. Oh, I need to put you in touch with Bev, um, Beth. And she works, she works energetically with pets, but it, you know, she's got to do that one-on-one. -on -one. You guys would make, uh, you know, a great collaborative there because you can't, she always has to like go to the home. Well, unless you are in her state, right. But there's a lot of people doing animal Reiki and all these, uh, and all these kinds of things. So, um, Yeah. Just, it's it's a new science. Scalar energy is the free energy from the sun and the stars. And if I can send this energy anywhere in the world, that proves that I can broadcast this energy for free mm -hmm. without an expensive grid system throughout the world or the universe for that matter. Yeah. I'm going to go back to the, that one photograph of the person with the goats. We're not only okay. working with this individual on the top right, but we're also working with the goats and the goats are healthy. We're treating the goats by way of their photograph. No. Oh, so this so is funny. not only for people, but it's for pets. It's for animal husbandry. We're, we're also able now working with orchards or farm crops. So it's far reaching what we can do with this energy. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. So where do people send their photographs? Let's get right there. It's the website, scalarlight.com, S-C-A-L-A-R, scalarlight.com. Visit the website. Anybody in the world can email us a photograph, just your bus shot, just your face. Include your family, <clears throat> include your pets. For 15 days, we'll balance your chakras. We'll identify and eradicate microbes. We'll also create nutrients. Try it out. You'll see this new science has merit. You'll probably feel better after two weeks. Try it. All right. Well, you heard it. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much for again sharing and congratulations on the expansion. Last time we got we talked, there was no goats in the conversation. <laughs> so good to good to know um that yeah. um I mean what a gift. I mean, first of all, what a gift that you've given and what a gift that and it's a gift that apparently keeps on giving. <laughs> yes. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift that keeps on giving. Everywhere you do, I, I see a theme with your work. I see a theme with your work. Um, so thank you so much. Thanks for coming on to Mission thank Accepted. You. Thank you for doing what you do. We know like what, what it is when, you, when you're pioneering, when you're breaking through. Sometimes it feels like you're not getting anywhere, but we are, right? It's, yes. you know, as one of our favorite people like to say, it's like 90% sharpening your ax and 10% the tree falling over. So, you know, when you're in that sharpening your ax and, you know, just interesting and, you know, Scalar energy will be a normal conversation, just like Reiki, just like chakras, just like, I mean, I remember in the beginning uh, when I was doing my holistic health studio, we had two brochures. We could not even put reflexology on our massage, lymphatic drainage, natural facials. And we could put the word Ayurveda because 90% of people didn't know it. I'm in Vancouver. So they're like, oh, that's interesting. What's that? That's herbal. Oh, that's cool. But we couldn't put... Um, you know, uh, Reiki, we couldn't put aura clearing, we couldn't put anything holistic on the same brochure, probably for the first 10 years. Right? So we've um, come a long way, huh? We've come a long way. 
So thank you for doing what you do. You guys have the website. It's in the thank show you. notes. If you want to contact Tom um, and thank you just so much for being here. Thank you for being an incredible audience as always, as always keep sending in your comments and please how this works is sharing these podcasts, sending them to people that you think would be of interest. If while you were listening today, particularly this type of topic, if you were listening and you thought of somebody, my uncle, my mother, my this, my neighbor, my girlfriend, my that, then to me, that is an indication that you need to put this together. So send them this information, get their, get their picture and send it in to Tom. All right. Thank you so much, Deb. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Until next week, be groovy.